Hey guys, I've got another dessert recipe for you today. No festive Diwali menu is ever complete without the traditional dessert Kheer. Kheer is a pudding that is usually made with milk, sugar and rice. The rice can be replaced by any other ingredient. You all know how much I love cooking with seasonal produce. So today, since sweet potatoes are in season, I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious sweet potato Kheer. This kheer is naturally sweet because of the sweet potatoes. So join me in the kitchen and let's get started. Let's begin by adding two cups of whole milk to a saucepan on low to medium heat. Take about quarter cup of warm milk and add a pinch of saffron and allow it to sit for a few minutes. Next, grate the cooked sweet potatoes. Once the milk has condensed a little, add the grated sweet potatoes and combine well. Now add the saffron infused milk to the kheer mixture and mix. Keep stirring the mixture. Sweet potatoes are uh, loaded with beta carotene. They're so good for you. They are nutrient dense. They have a lot of fiber. They help keep you uh, fuller longer. They are also um, complex carbohydrates. So they're really great. I mean, especially this time of the year. Um, this recipe is more like uh, Diwali meets Thanksgiving kind of a recipe. You can totally make this for Thanksgiving as well. Tastes really, really delicious. So if you like your kheer thick, allow it to cook for a few more minutes. If you like it thinner, then you can stop at this point. You can add uh, one or two tablespoons of honey if your sweet potatoes are not sweet enough. Mine wasn't, so I am going to add some honey. But just know that the milk and the sweet potatoes, when they cook together, they tend to become a little bit sweeter and they, when, when they chill as well, so they tend to get a bit sweeter. You can totally make this recipe vegan. Just uh, substitute whole milk with coconut milk or cashew milk and um, you can add maple syrup instead of honey. This recipe is delicious. It's very diabetic friendly. If you are diabetic because and watching your sugar levels uh, because there is no added sugar to it unless you add honey or maple syrup. Now I'm going to go ahead and add about two tablespoons of honey. This is optional. You don't have to, but my sweet potatoes weren't as sweet. The kheer is almost done. Now I'm going to add a mixture of raisins, slivered almonds and a pinch of cardamom powder to the kheer. Turn off stove and allow the kheer to cool down to room temperature. Transfer the kheer into serving containers and garnish with crushed pistachios and slivered almonds. I hope you guys enjoyed making the sweet potato kheer with me. Do share it with your friends and family and spread the love and laughter that Diwali signifies. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy Diwali.